Alright, so this is a very simple question for all the videographers out there. Um, have you ever noticed that every time you shoot at 120 frames per second, you bring your footage into Adobe Premiere, and then if you want to warp and slow it down at the same time, it's not possible? Well, the solution is rather simple. So let me show you how it's done. But first, let's hit that B-roll, and welcome to a brand new episode of Tutorials in a Hurry. there are a couple of things we need to know before applying this particular technique. The most important thing to remember is that this is going to work if you're only shooting between uh, 60 and 120 frames per second and up, which is not that regular, but it could happen. So if you're shooting at 24 or 25 frames per second, this is not going to work because the amount of frames that we need to work with are just not there. So the second thing to take into consideration is that this, the whole purpose of this technique is to make your footage and any movement just smoother, pretty much like if, we're, if you were using a gimbal. So the thing is that if you're actually using a gimbal, there's really no need to use this, like this is only in the case of having very wobbly or just shaky type of footage. So I'm just going to shut up now and I'm going to show you how it works, alright? Alright people, so once we've imported everything into Adobe Premiere, I already selected my clip, so in this case I decided to grab this, I think it's like a 3 second clip, and I already brought it into my uh, sequence, and let's see. So as you can see this is like very wobbly and this is like very shaky. I shot this at 120 frames per second, so I'm going to right click on my clip. And then from here, you can see speed duration. So as you can see, speed here is set to 100. Um, I can go down to, uh, to 25%, but I think I'm just going to take it down to 50. So as you can see, this is already looking way better, but still doesn't have that cinematic effect. And the thing is that if I go into my effect tab and click and right warp and try to bring it in, it's going to give me this error message, warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. So that's the pickle, right? So here's the secret. We're going to right click on our clip and then from here we're going to select nest. Click OK and as you can see our entire clip is green now. Now we can drop our warp stabilizer and as you can see it's already stabilizing. Let's see the final result. There you go. If you want to see the original clip, all you have to do is double click and this is going to bring you, as you can see, to a, to a new sequence. So this is the before and that's the after. So I actually have a second uh, example for you guys right here. This is the before. But once we apply some color correction, some nested and some warping, we're going to get something like this. Alright guys, so there you have it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, if you've got any questions, post them in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Tutorials in a Hurry. Bye! So yeah, let's hit the crap out of that b-roll. <laughs>